Again, Aziz Ansari is a liberal. It may account for a lot of this. Of course it does. But it still raises interesting points. Kathy Aru is joining us to talk about this. She's the founding publisher of Catalina Magazine. She likes the babe piece. She joins us tonight. Kathy, thanks for coming on. Hi, thanks for having me. So I guess what struck me about this is that the woman making these ac accusations against this man concedes in the body of the peas right. that she both had sexual contact with him, pretty extensive sexual contact, and never expressed discomfort, displeasure, asked him to stop, never said anything about it. So it's hard to see how that would be assault or anything even in the neighborhood of assault. How is it? Well, she was trying to let him know, I guess, non-verbally that she wasn't into the moment and she didn't realize like in the 70s women would slap a guy in the face and get up and leave and uh, perhaps a new sexual revolution is needed in our country or in the world and the, she didn't know that she could actually do that. So women need to be educated and the Me Too movement well, wait, is great. Wait, 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 because a, wait, a, women wait a second. Know you can get Wait up a and second. leave. Okay, yeah. so let me just say, I thought that Ansari came off as creepy in the piece and self-centered and boorish or whatever, but those aren't crimes. They're common, actually. Right. But so you're saying in the 70s, women would have slapped men, but now they won't. So you're saying right. that despite almost 50 years of nonstop feminist indoctrination of every living American, women have become more passive and less willing to speak up for themselves? How, is well, that, how does that well, work? Well, we haven't had sexual revolutions happening every 10 years or every few years. We had the sexual revolution happen in the 70s, and then it kind of was assumed that women knew that they had strength and power. And until the Me Too movement, that hasn't been the case. So who are these women? I mean, I you know, know a lot of women, live with a lot of women. I, I don't know any women who would feel uncomfortable saying knock it off if something was going on that they really didn't like. Who are these Sort of the, passive the, the meek women, women who you spend time. Well, uh, okay, but is right? that. But whose fault is that? I mean, I, you the know, women I don't want to the anyone piece. The women here. who publish the piece at the Babe magazine, that's why it's getting so much um, uh, recognition. So what's the your point? That if you don't read my mind, you're a criminal? And I get to destroy your reputation? Well, uh, is that a good standard? If you're a guy who's acting a little creepy and the woman's uncomfortable, but you keep going and you're having a great time while the person you're with is obviously miserable, but you're not picking up on it, it's A-OK? -okay, and the Me Too movement is letting women know. Why you doesn't the woman just say I'm miserable? Well, but hold on. Why does the woman just say I'm miserable? I don't understand. Is that too much to ask of, well, of a, a, another okay, human well, being? She finally said it. She said it too late. Well, she, and she, said it she, she, she wrote it this piece. The... At, wait, hold on. She wrote this piece anonymously, and Babe.com was too cowardly to identify her. So he gets smeared, but she hides behind the veil of anonymity. So she's well, she's a coward smeared. too. It, it, he didn't say it was a lie. He did what he did. So why is that smearing? Well, she's writing about what their he did. sex. I mean, hold on. She's attacking him anonymously in a piece about his sex. She's life. giving the facts. It wasn't an attack. She gave the facts on what happened that night. It's up to the reader, the person, to say was he right? Was she right? Was that awkward? Um, so I don't so, think it was an attack. I think it was simply saying this is what the guy did. What well, do you actually, think? What, it was an attack. But I, I guess I, what I'm struck by is you're obviously a professional feminist. I'm definitely not. <laughs> but I seem to have a higher opinion of women than you do. You seem to think that they're no, so weak and helpless no. that it... It's, it's understandable they're afraid to say something as simple as, I don't like that. No, I think they're trying to say it. They're just not saying it in the right way. How about so, saying it at all? She didn't say it at all. She didn't say one word. Because I actually think women are adults. I don't, you don't, apparently, but I do. I, I do and believe so women are adults. I think, think women need to feel more empowered because women are powerful, and they need to feel more empowered. And I think thanks to Me Too, and for these type of stories, women will know, you know what? I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm going to speak up. So thank goodness this story was written. <laughs> this, is, this is all so insane. I'm not sure what to say. I should probably stop talking. Kathy, thank you. As always, you are our Sherpa thank into you. the weirder regions of the American left, and we're grateful that you are. Thank you. Thanks.